Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to construct a box and whisker plot. So we have the problem, construct a box and whisker plot for the following set of data and we have a list of 12 numbers. So now before we begin, one thing we need to be careful with whenever we're doing problems like this is making sure that our data set is in order from least to greatest. So notice how I've already organized the numbers in order from least to greatest because now we can move forward. And the main technique we're going to need to complete this problem is finding the median of a data set. We're going to use that technique three times. So now we start off by finding the median of this data set. And now since there's 12 terms, we're going to have to find the average of the middle two terms. Because notice how when we start at the endpoints and we start marching towards the middle one at a time from each side. By the time we get to the middle, we're going to be between 81 and 84 because notice how there's no middle number between 81 and 84. So to find the median of this data set, we need to find the average of 81 and 84. And we can accomplish this by doing 81 plus 84 divided by 2. And now this is going to simplify to 165 divided by 2. And now this will simplify to 82 and a half. So now that we know that our median is at 82 and a half, we need to find the first and third quartiles. But now let's think about what is the first and third quartile. Well, the median is the middle number, so in some sense it cuts the data set right in half. So now to find the first and third quartiles, we need to cut this data set into quarters or fourths. So what that means is we're going to cut the left half in half, and we're going to cut the right half of data in half. If we didn't use that technique, what we could do is we look at all of the data to the left of the median, which starts at 59 and ends at 81, and we need to find the median of this set of data. So what we could do is we could mark off 59 and 81, and we start marching towards the middle of this collection of data. And now notice how we do not have a middle number, so we would once again have to find the average of two numbers. In this case, we're going to be finding the average of 63 and 72. So to find our first quartile, we need to solve the problem 63 plus 72 divided by 2. And now this will simplify to 135 divided by 2. And now finally this simplifies to 67.5. So we have that our first quartile is at 67 and a half. So now to find our third quartile, we could once again notice how that it's sliced right between 88 and 92 and find the average of those. But if we want to do it formally, we would look at the median, which is at 82 and a half, and we're going to look at all of the data to the right of the median, which starts at 84 and ends at 100. And now we need to find the median of this set of data. So now we're going to start at 84 and at 100, and we're going to start marching towards the middle. And now notice how we don't have a middle number, so once again we need to find the average of these two numbers. So we're going to be doing, for the third quartile, We're solving the problem 88 plus 92 divided by 2, which simplifies to 180 divided by 2, and now 180 divided by 2 is 90. For this type of problem though, if you could eyeball it, notice how 88 and 92 are 4 apart, so it's easy in this case to identify that 90 is smack in the middle of those two. You could also use that technique, but this is just a fail-safe way of getting the right answer every time. So now, to, we have enough information to construct our box and whisker plot. Because the other two pieces of information, the minimum and maximum data entry, is easy to identify. So we note that this data starts at 59. So we're going to mark our whisker at 59 on this number line. So we're going to 59, and we're going to draw our first whisker. And now the box is going to begin at the first quartile. And remember, our first quartile was at 67 and a half. So we go over to our, no to our number line and we mark off 67 and a half. And now this is going to be the beginning of the box. Now the next thing we need to mark off is the median. We said that our median was at 82 and a half. So we're going to go over to the number line at 82 and a half. So we go 81, 82, and smack in the middle of 82 and 83. We're going to make another mark. And now this is going to be the slice inside of the box. So now we can extend this box out and we'll extend the median so that it spans the entire height of the box. And now the third quartile is at 90. 
The third quartile tells us where the box is going to end. So we're going to close this box off at 90. And then finally, the last piece of information we need to complete this, we need the maximum data entry, which is 100. So we're going to put our end whisker at 100. So we extend a line at the end of the box, and we throw our whisker on at 100. So this would be the box and whisker plot for this data entry of 12 numbers. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this was helpful.